What's going on guys? Today's video is a lesson learned in social economics. Um, the last two years have been pretty rough for a lot of people. And my social network, cause I have pockets of friends. I have a pocket of really rich entrepreneur friends. I have a pocket of friends of people I went to high school with. I have a pocket of friends that I've recently met. And I've got like several pockets of friends, right? And you know, like my, I call my entrepreneur friends, my top tier friends, I call that my sounding board. These are people that I can buy a new Porsche and send them a picture that I bought a new Porsche and they will say congratulations and I'm happy for you. Because on that level, they can, if they wanted to go out and get a Porsche, they can go out and get a Porsche. So there's no hate. There is no, you just bragging. There's none of that stuff with that. And that is my favorite group of friends. That is my favorite fear group because I can speak candidly and openly and honestly with these people and I don't have to censor myself. But with my other pockets of friends, uh, like the people I went to high school with, I never would have sent them a picture of a brand new Porsche. I, I never would have did that. Uh, that would have been very tone deaf because most of these people are stuck in a social economic level. Typically, the social economic level that you're born into is the one that you will typically die in. So upward mobility is possible, but it's not really a thing. And during this pandemic, <clears throat> I will tell you, I had some friends, he caught COVID, his wife caught COVID, their kid, everyone in the house caught COVID. Like there's a, they have a mar man and wife, three kids, everyone in the house caught COVID. Uh, the wife, we thought she was gonna die. It got really, really dicey. And um, I lended a little assistance because, you know, these are some good, solid people. And I want, you know, this is funny. Uh, I got some stories to tell you about what I have done for people during COVID. And this isn't to pat myself on the back, it is to explain social, you know, I've learned a lesson because this man and wife, I helped them out. They were extremely grateful. They said, thank you. And they actually cooked me a dinner to show their appreciation. Cause I just gave them the money. I was like, look, you know, where you are right now, you're not going to be in a position to repay this. This is a gift, you know, have it, go ahead. And they were extremely um, thankful, grateful, and they're doing really well now because that was just, you know, a lesson I learned is when you help people who are already productive, cause their credit was good. They had a house, they were doing things. They were already on the right track and to hand assistance to these people, that was the way to go. Because like I said, they did the right things and you know, they were like, I don't know their incomes. We've never discussed incomes. I don't know their incomes, but I would say as a couple, they probably do 120, maybe 150. And, um, after they healed up, cause it, it was like, this went on for months. This went on for months. But after they got better, they got right back on their feet and they were doing what they need to do. And uh, essentially the husband and wife send me frequent texts like, hey, how are you doing everything? You know, I've got new friends. Well, we're already friends, but the friendship deepened. And I've helped out other people. Now this is the lesson that I learned. I have a friend, a male friend, that we were just talking and I offered, he did not ask. Just to be clear, he did not ask. I offered, cause he was talking about, man, my car just broke down. And I was like, you know, I got a parking lot full of cars. And you know, we, we talk, but unless he watches the YouTube videos, he doesn't really know my financial position. Cause I don't go around like, hey, you know, I can do, I don't, I don't really, when I meet you, it's like, hi, I'm Glendon. That's, that's the way that I meet you. And that's the way that I get down. And I was like, well, I have an extra car you can borrow. And he said, really? I said, yeah. So this is someone I've known maybe five years. And when I say no, 
we would talk and we'd have really good conversations, but, and we've met in person, but I know, I, I know some of my entrepreneur friends better than I know this person. And this is one of the lessons I learned. Uh, I gave him an Acura 2013 Acura TL. Very nice car. I did not know the Acura product was that nice until I bought one and drove it. It is comparable, I can say this, with the BMW 5 Series in terms of power. And I'm gonna say it, and from an interior perspective, the Acura has better ergonomics. The Acura is a snazzier, it's a nicer interior than the BMWs, just much nicer. So I give him the car and he has it and he has the car for like three months and you know, we, we talk on and off cause you know, like I'm not like checking like how's the car and stuff like that. Cause you know, I, I figured he was a good person. And about three months in, he starts complaining about the cost of gas. And I'm like, let me get this straight. You have a good car. You don't have to worry about a car payment. You don't have to worry about car insurance. All you have to do is put gas in it. And you know, it kind of took me back cause like around the third time he complained about the gas, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I need that car back. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, okay, okay. So to his credit, he brought it right back when I asked for it, left it in the parking lot and I actually sold it the next day. So I learned that you know, from helping out these two people. If you help someone who is productive, go getting, and they just, they just kind of run into, you know, like he got COVID, she got COVID, all three kids got COVID. I mean, the house got sick. And like we, one point the wife was hospitalized. The husband, he didn't get hospitalized, but he got very sick. And these people are stellar. And then I go to this guy that, I got a question for you. If someone gives you a car to use and all you have to put is gas in it, would you complain about the gas? Yes, the car runs on premium, which is the most exp expensive brand. But I was like, gee willikers. I'm like, for me, if someone gave me use of a car and all I had to do was put gas in it, I would have been, once again, he brought back the car filthy. He brought back the car on E. I gave it to him with a full tank of gas. And I'm just sitting here and that relationship has deteriorated. It is deteriorated because I don't really reach out to him. I don't really talk to him because I look at who he is and looking at who he is explains why he's in the position that he's in. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is who you are is who you are. And I've, I've like, I've been through, been looking at a lot of stuff and I was having a conversation with a friend last night who does very well financially. And she was like, was talking about how hard it is to date because she would meet someone and she's like, they drop a bomb on you. It's like, what do you mean they drop a bomb on you? And she's like, oh, they'll tell you that they're getting back with their ex or her deal breaker is because she makes money. She lives by herself. She owns rental properties. She cannot date someone that has roommates. She just can't do it. And a lot of stuff <laughs> is happening. And we, we agree on a lot of uh, points here. But one of the things that I found to be interesting as I was looking at who you help and who you don't help. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a generous person at heart. You know, I'll help anyone out I can. And I'm looking at it and then it, it, it takes me back because the car takes me back to when I was giving all of these courses away. And one of the things that happens and to this day, and this is, I'm a petty patty. I'm, I'm petty, I'm petty, 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 petty. Like people, every, this day I get emails like, could you please remove me from this list? And I will send them an email. It's like, here's the link, log in and delete yourself from the list. Good luck. 
and I block them. The people who get the best deals, and this, this is a lesson that I keep learning. Well, I already know the lesson, I keep experiencing it. Like customers who get the best deals are often the worst customers ever. And I'm consistently seeing this dynamic play itself out. And I was just sitting there like, so he had a car and then another person that I was going to help. This was a woman. I was going to help her and I changed my mind. And I'm going to tell you why I changed my mind. I saw a pattern of bad financial decisions, just bad decision, bad decision, bad decision. And I'm like, okay, if you help this person, it's going to be like that little cat, the neighborhood cat that you put a saucer of milk out and every day you go to the back door and that cat's waiting. And it's like, this is what you're going to, you're going to create this situation. So ultimately, like I said, I can't save everybody. And what I've learned is you got to be careful who you help because I don't know what her situation is right now. Cause like I said, Oh man, that's just terrible. You know, you're going to be homeless. That's, that's a bad thing because what I'm looking at is the pathway and how people got in these positions. And it goes back to habits and behaviors, habits and behaviors. I keep seeing the same thing because um, the guy with the car, he did reach out and he was like, hey, you still have that car? I was like, nope, I sold it. Oh, okay. I didn't tell him I had, like, I got other cars, but mm -mm. no, 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 no. Because what I have learned, what I have learned is when you help people who are in a bad position in life, due to their own making, you can give them all the money in the world and their, 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 their lot in life isn't going to change. It's not going to change because I, I was looking and, you know, like I said, there was no animosity, you know, with the car. I was just like, you know, like I said, he did not ask because he didn't know. I offered. And when I saw certain behaviors, like, man, yeah, gas sure is expensive. I'm like, this person went from a car with a car payment on it. And what I assumed happened, because we never had a conversation about this, but the car that broke down had a car payment on it, had a car payment, had a car insurance. And I feel that he allowed that car to re be repossessed. That's what I feel happened versus using the car, taking his money, getting that car fixed. Cause that's what I thought was going to happen. And you know, since he reached out and it's like, Hey, you still have that car. I was like, Nope. And this is going on like five months. So I assumed that instead of doing what he needed to do, it's like, Oh man, I got a car I can use. I can get to work so I can take my money and get my car. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen. I'm just sitting there like, aha, I begin to see. Because like, there are many, many folks that, um, there's another position of someone that is hardworking, does what they need to do, and they've kind of fallen a little short. I'm going to help this person out because I have seen character and behavior, right? And when I see good character, good behavior, good work, work ethics, this is a person that I can sprinkle a little, little help on just a little help. And it, the help is like watering a flower and they just bloom. But when you get what I call a demo person or a worthless person, you can give them all the help in the world. They're not going to bloom because of their habits and behaviors. They're not, they're just not going to bloom. They're just not. And, um, I actually did this. I drove by dude's house just to see if the car was there. The car isn't there. 
lights were on, so I feel that car got repoed. And I'm just sitting here like, one of the things that's disappointing for me is when you help someone out and you see their situation get worse. It's very, very disappointing because I've learned, like I said, like this is why I don't give away stuff for free anymore. Um, I give the audio book away for free. That's no, that's no biggie, but I am not, um, you cannot help someone who isn't trying to help themselves. And um, it, it's, it's crazy what is going on in the world today because with the global reset, with the impending relation, recession, with the trash job market, there's a lot of people who are going to suffer and there's a lot of good people who are going to suffer. That's going to need a little help. That's going to need a little help. They're not going to need for you to come, you know, do all of this other stuff. Uh, they're just going to need a little bit of help. Like, you know, I didn't even, you know, give these people, in my opinion, a lot of money. I didn't give them a lot of money. I just gave them a little help, just a little help. And that's all a productive, hardworking, sensible, good character person needs. It's just a little help. Now, if you're in a position where you are a full demo, now what do I mean by full demo? Let's pretend this person's a house, all right? So the house, you gotta go in, you gotta knock down all the walls, you gotta put in electric, you gotta put in plumbing, it's a full demo. I cannot do that. I, that right there, I mean, honestly, I, I can't do that because you're doing more for the person than they're doing for themselves. And as long as that dynamic exists, the problem that they have is never going to get better. It's never going to get better because you are enabling bad, pathetic behavior. So I like demo people. There, there's a few demo people in my orbit and uh, one of them found the YouTube channel and uh, she was like, really? And she, she asked me some questions that were very, very personal and very probing. Let me tell you about her. She is someone I met on the Sugar Baby website. So you already know where I'm going with this. And we talked, I never gave her any money. We went out a few times, but she would not get off the pussy. So I just stopped messing with her. And then um, she kind of reached out. Now she's a full demo. She doesn't have a car. She doesn't have a place to live. She's living with roommates and she doesn't have a job. She cute though. She real cute. And she was like, I don't understand. And she's like, and I was like, what do you mean you don't understand? It's like, you got money and I need money, but you never gave me any money. I mean, this, this is the conversation I was like, and I was like, I don't believe we're having this conversation. I enjoyed your time with you. We went out a few times and I wanted to fuck, but you didn't want to fuck. So I stopped fucking with you in the text. <laughs> and she was like, if you had been talking about some money, we could have been fucking. And um, she was trying to work her way back in. But once again, she's a full demo. No car, no place of her own, no job. That is just a vortex that is just going to suck up money. I'm just like, uh-uh, I can't do it. And I was like, well, you have a nice day. And she's like, and then, you know, she started to go down and she's like, I, 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 I saw the videos all these YouTubers made about you and that you were actually having sex with children, which I found. Then she, then she got insulting and she got blocked. She got blocked. 
And I was just sitting there like, that was, that was interesting. And one of the things that I found out is, because she knew my real name, that's how she found it. And how did she know my real name? Because she came to my place and she saw some mail. And that gets to be very interesting. I remember years ago when I was living with, with a girlfriend, one of her friends came over and she saw the mail and then she started to um, probe and she figured out who I was and she figured and she she saw that I was doing very well financially and it became a thing. And what I have learned, and this is why I'm not showing any more receipts. You know, the other day I wanted to show a receipt and I was like, bad Glenda, bad, I had to slap myself down. It's like, we're not doing that anymore. We're not showing any more receipts. We're not doing that anymore because all that does is attract bad juju. It just attracts the wrong people because this chick who like, like she cute is all she cute. She is cute. Nice little body on her, slim goodie. But I was like, and the more she told me, the more I was like, I am not going to engage in this. Because one of the things that I'm really, really good at is avoiding losing money with the exception of the car rental business. And even over the long term, I'm not going to lose money because uh, I can play the corporate game with that. But this, this, is, this is these lessons that I keep having revealed to me who you can help, who you can't help. And I'm just sitting here like, Wow, 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 wow. Because um, one of the things that I'm looking at is, like I said, I got a few demo people, like, well, she's not in orbit because I blocked her. And there's a few other ones who are kind of out there. And this entitlement that I'm supposed to do for them when they can't do for themselves. But once again, it goes back to habits and behaviors habits and behaviors. So um, I will not be volunteering the use of the cars anymore. And another reason is like the Acura had low mileage. That's another reason that I chose that car because the more, the more mile, like I got a car that when I bought it, it had 150,000 miles on it, right? Came back and now has 192,000 miles on it. So I'm just sitting there like, ah, this, this just, I would have been better off taking that money and buying a house and then reselling that house. I would have made way more money. Uh, lessons learned, lessons learned. Uh, but I'm in a very philosophical mood at the moment because I'm just sitting here and I'm just looking at who shows up, who represents, who is really working hard. Cause like the man and his wife, they're doing fine right now. They just need a little help, just a little bit of help. And then I run across these demo people cause I feel the guy who I let use the car. Once again, he didn't ask, I volunteered. Um, I feel that he's on the verge of becoming a demo person because of his habits and behaviors. Because number one, his car broke down. Okay, that happens. Why don't you have a savings account? Why aren't you prepared for this contingency? So I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. And man, it is um, very interesting. The things that I am learning, the things that I am uh, seeing, the things that I am. Cause you know, I am 55 years old and I still learn stuff every week. I'm still learning, man. I'm just sitting there like, and it's just mind blowing. Because once again, my favorite peer group to communicate with, to hang out with is my entrepreneur friends because we can have very deep conversations and I don't have to censor myself. Uh, my high school friends, I barely even talk to them because I'm from, 
Adamsville, Alabama. And the life, like, I'm living a rapper's lifestyle. That's the only way to put it in context what these people would look at the way that I live from the way that I grew up. And I, I mean, mm -mm. We, we don't even talk. We, we can't even communicate because um, I have left that life. If I stayed in Alabama, I'd probably be 400 pounds, married to one of the girls I went to high school with, with three or four kids, and be talking about, we gotta get ready for church today. We gotta go to church. I hear they gonna have fried chicken at the church dinner. We gotta be there for that fried chicken. I've left that lifestyle. I never actually fit that lifestyle because they used to call me high-minded as a child. And um, yeah, man, it is very, very intriguing what is going on, what is happening in the world today. It is very, very intriguing. Very, very intriguing. So one of the things that I am looking at because like I feel that these lessons are being revealed to me for a reason and I'm going to tell you what I feel that that purpose is I feel that my purpose was put on this planet to help people to shine that light of truth on the subject and I feel that is my gift because I'm really good at analytics. I'm really good at breaking down stuff. I'm really good at communicating. And I've, I have a feeling, because the lesson that I took away from all of these experiences is help those who are helping themselves. And those who are just full demos, those out there. Um, last week, and this is another reason I'm in a philosophical mood. Last week, I had not one, not two, not three, but four of my exes reach out to me. I was just like, it was like every other day, it was like, hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Because, you know, they're still in my phone. I knew who it was. You know, we had just parted ways. We did not have animosity or hate or anger when we just parted ways. So it was still cool. And it was like, hey, how are you doing? And I got contacted by four of my exes last week. And I'm like, and everyone is seeming to find a YouTube channel. This is the thing. It's like, I was watching YouTube and you, for some reason, one of your videos popped up and one of them was like, I thought your name was X. <laughs> and I'm like seeing all of these YouTube channels and all this stuff you're going on. And I'm just sitting there like, wow, this is what he does. Cause she never knew. I just told her, cause th this was the game. Um, I'm a business consultant, very opaque, very non-committal. I'm a business consultant. I would never actually get into the nuts and bolts of what I would do because um, I would never, from what I know, actually be in a relationship and bring her to the YouTubes because I already know what would happen. I already know what happened because, uh, like I said, to the nerd tribe, to the nerd gang, I love you guys. I thank you. You guys got my back. But there's a, there's a, there's a group of people who are waiting for me to fall. They're waiting for me to implode. They're waiting for me to crash and burn. And I feel that's why they just kind of stick around. And every now and then, they, they, they just, I'll, I'll pull up a video that just triggers them. But. I'm getting ready to do some different kind of stuff going forward based upon the lessons that I learned because I'm in the position to help so many people and not from shelling out money, but shelling out knowledge. I'm in the position to help a lot of people and that's what I'm gonna start working on. That's what I'm gonna start focusing on. If you've noticed that I have not targeted any of the YouTubers, I've made a decision. You know what? They're grown, they're grown men and women. They can watch what they want to watch. If they like that, knock themselves out. Because uh, one YouTuber, and someone put in the comments, because 
his content has completely flip-flopped. <laughs> it, it is completely flip-flopped. And I'm not mentioning any names because I'm like, I'm not doing that. And uh, I'm gonna focus on helping people. I'm gonna focus on providing solutions for those who are working, for those who are trying to help themselves. And that's what this whole new energy is gonna be about. Because uh, last week, and also, I started working out again yesterday. Felt great. I am, I am sore. I did a full body workout, so that's coming back. So you're gonna see me with a little bit more pep, a little bit more pep, a little bit more energy. Because um, one of the things that I am beginning to experience is joy. And what do I mean by joy? Since I got rid of the car rental business, I really get to spend more time in my place because the car rental business, literally I would wake up 8.30 and I would head to the office and I'd be dealing with that. So I didn't really get to reveal in here. And uh, one of the things I did is I brought a lot of gym equipment here, which I haven't used because I just, I just found me a gym. It's only 15 bucks a month, so I'm gonna join this gym. And I gotta sell all that stuff because one of the reasons I haven't been able to enjoy this is because I've been in the process of getting rid of stuff, selling stuff, selling bedroom sets, you know, and it's just, so I'll probably stay here another year and then we'll see what happens after that. But I'm really, really enjoying this place. I'm really enjoying the whole process. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts and opinions and feelings on this in the comments, because I know some of you got something to chime in on. But yeah, it, it, it's kind of crazy. I felt that last week was a really good week because I learned a lot and I had lessons revealed to me because I'm getting ready to do some stuff that some of you are gonna love. Some of you are gonna love. I'm not gonna announce what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start doing it. And then you can partake in that if you choose. So let me know your thoughts, opinions, and comments in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys later.